6. Convicted Poway Synagogue shooter, 22-year-old John Ernest, has been sentenced to life in prison without parole, plus an additional 137 years to life. Ernest shot and killed one woman in April of 2019 and injured three others. He also pleaded guilty to an arson charge for setting fire to a mosque in Escondido a month before the shooting. News 8's Kirsten Holmes was at the courthouse for the sentencing and joins us live tonight with details. Kirsten. Emotions ran high as the family of Lori Gilbert Kay and others shared their victim impact statements in the courtroom today, just minutes before learning that the shooter would spend the rest of his life behind bars. <laughs> Heartbreaking testimony from those left behind after the Poway Synagogue shooting. Whenever I'm in the synagogue, even though they filled the bullet holes, I can still see them. And I can still smell the gunpowder. And I hate you for that. The sentencing today doesn't take away my pain or ease my grief. Know this, hatred will not win. As loved Our ones people. pay tribute to the life lost. Witnessing my father try to revive my mother and fail, not only as her husband, but as a doctor of 40 plus years, was a colossal tragedy in itself, for she died instantly. Lori K. Gilbert died while trying to protect her friend, Rabbi Yisrael Goldstein. Her daughter, Hannah K., shares the last picture she took with her mom that very day. Unaware that this photo would be the last relic of my mother and I, together in the physical, embracing each other's arms, loving one another whole and home. And then offers a prayer in Hebrew that she says, her mother was unable to recite the day she was killed. I will not walk away today feeling a sense of happiness, of relief or ease. I refuse to dehumanize you. I will not hate you just the same. Prosecutors say 54 people were inside of that synagogue when the shooter opened fire. Also, victims of the mosque fire that the shooter, the defendant, said about a month before the shooting those victims were invited to today's sentencing, but declined that invitation. And I want you to stick around because at six, we're going to let you hear from the district attorney about what she had to say about this case and the shooter. Back to you. All right, Kirsten, thanks. The uh, sentencing done, but the pain will never end. Thanks so much for the family.